Hi, my name is Tyler, and this is Aftertouch Audio. I just got back from vacation, and I would love to show you guys the custom portable recording rig that I've been taking with me everywhere I go. My bigger SFX recording rig uses the Sound Devices 633 with oodles of microphones and blimps, but it's not always available, and it's not the easiest to lug around everywhere, so I needed something that I could just pick up and go. My recorder of choice is the PCM D100. This recorder, in my opinion, has to be one of the best portable handheld recorders out there. It has two built-in microphones on the top of the recorder, similar to the Zoom Handy series. The preamps are extremely quiet, which allows me to record the quietest of ambiences with minimum microphone noise. It is also able to record sounds up to 192 kilohertz, 24 bit, and it runs on four AA batteries. I gotta say, for running on AA batteries, it has a surprisingly long life. On my entire vacation, I use a total of eight AA batteries. It has a full metal construction, which is awesome for durability, especially with the microphone cage at the top, but the metal construction does increase the handling noise if you move your hands around the recorder. For memory, I'm using a single 256 gigabyte SD card in the recorder, so I never have to worry about running out of space. Sadly, this recorder is discontinued, so it has hiked the price up quite a bit, but I have seen them floating around on the used market for about $500 every now and then. If you do manage to pick up this recorder, I do, however, highly recommend replacing the windscreen that comes with it with an aftermarket one. I ended up using a lot of third-party windscreens from eBay, and I've even robbed the one from my Zoom H6. It works infinitely better than the one that's provided with the recorder. The next piece of equipment I use is a travel size boom pole from Really Right Stuff and a recorder suspension mount to mount the recorder to the boom pole. This system not only allows me to operate the recorder hands-free, which will eliminate the handling noise of the recorder, but it also allows me to get the recorder in harder to reach areas. The reason why I use the Really Right boom pole is because they are a company that typically makes tripods for cameras. So on the boom pole they created, they actually have a lot of threads that I can attach other camera hardware to the boom pole like monopod feet. These monopod feet allow me to go ahead and place the recorder down in areas for long periods of time to capture ambiences, but they can also collapse down or be removed while operating the recorder in a handheld mode. The last piece of equipment I use is a small portable microphone stand which allows me to aim the recorder around in different areas. As the boom pole is more of a straight up and down, this one here allows me to angle the recorder in any direction that I want. Aside from this floor stand, all of this equipment fits within a tiny camera bag, including my camera equipment. So it is a perfect just pick up ready to go bag for anything I need. I hope you enjoyed this video. I would actually like to hear some of your DIY solutions for a portable recording rig. Leave them in the comments below. If you like what I do, please consider supporting the channel by liking and subscribing to the channel, or you can check out my SFX shop over at aftertouchaudio.com. Go make some noise.